In this video, we are going to solve example problem 2.1 from RCA Ballard Engineering Statics 12th edition. The problem says the screw I in figure 2-11a is subjected to two forces F1 and F2. Determine the magnitude and direction of the resultant force. We are going to solve this problem by using parallelogram law. For this, we have to draw the projection of these two forces. Now, resulting will be drawn on the tail of these two forces to the opposite end. Now, label them. This one is F1, which is 100 newtons. This is FR. This is F2, which is 115 newtons. 150 newtons, sorry. Okay. Now, this angle is alpha. This angle is also alpha. This angle is beta. This angle is also beta. From here, we can say that for alpha, alpha is equals to 90 degrees minus 10 degrees minus 15 degrees, which is 65 degrees. For beta, we know that the sum of interior angles of a quadrilateral are 360 degrees. We have 2 alpha plus 2 beta equals 360 degrees. Now beta is equals to 360 degrees minus 2 times 65 degrees over 2. Beta is equals to 115 15 degrees. For FR, consider triangle O, A, and B. Consider triangle O, A, and B. We can apply sine cosine law opposite to the vertex P. FR is equals to F1 square plus F2 square minus 2 times F1 F2 cos beta. FR is equals to F1 is equals to 100 newtons. F2 is equals to 115 new, 50 newtons minus 2 times 100 150 cos 115. FR is equals to 212.6 Newtons. Now, this is our first answer. Now, we are also asked to find the direction of the resultant force. So let's say we draw a new figure. This FR F one F two. Let's call this angle theta. This angle is phi. This angle is beta. This is F2, which is 150 newtons. FR is equals to 212.6 newtons. F1 is equals to 100 newtons. For theta, we can apply sine law to the vertex O. Sine theta 
over 150 equals sine beta over 212.6 newtons sine theta over 150 equals sine 115 over 212.6 degrees theta will be 39.75 degrees but we are going to find phi which is the original angle for resultant force now phi is equals to theta plus 15 degrees P is 15 degrees We have 39.75 degrees plus 15 degrees we have 54.75 degrees this is our second answer I hope you will find this video helpful if you do please feel free to subscribe this channel for more content and also turn on the bell icon for daily updates. Thank you.